What is up YouTube? This is Rick G. I am back with another video and we are going to do a multi-denomination coin roll hunt today. Now, we are going through an epidemic of great proportions with coin rolls and coins being able to uh, pick them up and whatnot. It, it is an epidemic because as a coin roll hunter, we need to be able to get this and we are sick when we cannot get our coin rolls. So, uh, I'm going to show you a few videos of me picking up some coins and then I'll be right back. All right, so there's supposed to be a shortage of coin in the U.S. right now. So I'm going to try this bank that I normally don't go to and see if I can get some coin. We'll find out how it works out. Well, <laughs> they had some coin. They definitely didn't have any boxes. I got uh, $30 in quarters and $10 in dimes and nickels. Let's see if I can find some more stuff. All right, so now that I'm in the car, I went ahead and searched the customer wrap quarters. Uh, nothing old and nothing new. So I'm going to take them to another bank, trade them in for some dimes. Uh, I do have the uh, Salt River Bay uh, 2020 quarter. So uh, hopefully we can find some W's in there. And then, of course, we got the nickels and the dimes. We'll search when we get back to the house. All right, so I traded the quarters in for the dimes. They didn't have any extra, though. So now I'm trading the dimes in for some quarters at another bank. I think there is a shortage for real. Well, it worked out. Got some Loomis rolls, our NF String and Sons. Got an extra $20, so we'll search them when we get home too. So I thought I should bring you in for this one right here. Uh, $120 from one bank. Before we would get a box, see a silver ender, and feel like we got a score. And now that this coin shortage is going on, pulling $120 of any kind of coin out of one single bank, is a score now so let's see what else we can pick up at other banks all right so you sh uh, saw the sh uh, few videos uh, it was tough picking up uh, any type of coin out there it, it was very tough because uh, the this coin shortage that we are going through and uh, I was happy to get what I was able to get of course uh, we have some NF string and sons uh, this is all NF string and this is and then uh, some of these this was just the regular Brinks we got customer wrapped uh, these are all circulated ends down here are the Brinks rolls though these this one's circulated obviously it's got the old design on the back these right here I believe to be all 20 20s but it's the obver or the yeah the obverse that shows on most of them i do have i think one of them that has the bat i can't remember but these definitely are 2020 coins right here and i don't know if i'm going to search these rolls or not but we're going to get into all of this stuff right here see what we can find and uh i'll bring you in whenever i uh, find something cool i guess i'll start with the quarters because i have mostly quarters to to search through all right, before I start searching, what I did not tell you, I've got these already back in the box, so it's easier for me to access everything here. Uh, we have $270 in quarters, $55 in dimes, $28 in nickels, and then a total of $4 in pennies. So now let's get into this and find out uh, if we have anything awesome hiding in any of these rolls. Customer wrap quarters down, three rolls. Uh, I did find one 2020 bat, but it is not the W. And then one... Duke Ellington from 2009. Now, uh, the 2009s do have a lower mintage than most of the quarters around it. Uh, and the Duke Ellington right here has a double die, several different double dies that you can find that can bring you a, a nice premium. This one does not have the double die, plus it is pretty beat up, so that's going back in. Now let's get into uh, something else. Maybe these, these quarters back here, I know that they are circulated. We'll save the 2020s for last. So the NF String and Sun rolls are down. I think there was 15 of them. They're all right here in this box. No fines. And not only that, these aren't fines right here. These are just 2019s. This was all the 2019s that was in there. Of course, these aren't the NEWs, but 15 rolls. There was only four 2019s. Obviously, no 2020s. Now let's get into these. That's circulated. I know. Let's see. These are circulated quarters here. These might be 2020s, and then those over there are guaranteed to be 2020s. So let's see what we have in these rows. 
All right, so the Brinks rolls are searched and the one circulated roll was exactly that circulated. I got this light over here killing me. But uh, the the five that I assumed to be all 2020s, three of them were 2020 bats. Uh, one of them was the Ware Farms uh, 2020 and then one of them was the 2019 San Antonio's Missions. None of them had W quarters, unfortunately. These three rolls up here, we have bats, we have Ware Farm, and then we also have... Uh, the Salt Bay, uh, Salt River Bay, sorry. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just leave them because both sides have reverse reverses showing. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave them in the rolls as they are. And then uh, at some point, maybe I'll search them. Maybe I won't. I'll have them forever. Now let's get into the dimes. All right, so the dimes are searched and no finds in the dimes either. 2009 was a low mint year, so I pulled these two out just to show you that I had found two of them. Uh, they're going to go back into the box be, to be dumped. But two 2009 dimes in the dimes, and that is it. Now let's get into the nickels. Hopefully we can find something cool in those. And this is becoming quite embarrassing. Uh, all the nickels are searched. I got a 57 of 58 and I did bring you in for this but I'm not going to show that clip I thought we had some uh, silver because uh, they usually the silver will come up a little darker than the other nickels obviously but that was a 58 and then another 58 the pennies we have the pennies left let's see if this can bring us out of this hole well look at this we have a find we'll go zoom in real quick finally we have a wheat penny so we have one find so far and it is a 1941 i had already looked at it and i brought you back in but uh 1941 this is all going back right here these are 82s that i got away this is the copper that i've pulled out these are 92s uh 98 99 and 2000s I'm looking for the white am or the close am and then here's some more copper once i once i pile it up here through this roll i'll put it back up here so we have a wheat penny 1941 to be exact and uh pretty happy about that uh, i'll bring you back in if i get something else so we are on a roll now check this out we have another wheat penny happy about that let's see what the year is i have not looked at this one uh let's see get in there 1946 so we will take it 1946 wheat penny we have two of them i'll be back well and that is the hunt everything else has been thrown back box of coin going back to the bank to be dumped we have three rolls of 2020 quarters that i have not opened i probably won't i don't know just yet we'll have them for a while we pulled 84 cents in copper out uh, as you can see right here these two are 1959s i generally keep them out away from the other coppers because that was the transition year and then down here the two finds of the entire hunt was two wheat pennies, 1941 and a 1946. But we will take it. If that's what we're going to get, that's what we're going to get. Uh, I wanted to show you that I wasn't able to pick up as many coins as I had hoped. I was trying to see what was going on in my area with this uh, coin shortage thing. And sure enough. I wasn't able to get very much. So uh, let me know how you guys are doing with your coin roll searches. If you're, if the first goal is to just find the rolls first, uh, now we have a new hobby, just find coin rolls. So until next time, good luck to you. I hope you profit on all your searches. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. And until next time, good luck.